To open Excel, right-click anywhere on your desktop, go to New, and choose Microsoft Excel Worksheet. Let's name our file Introduction to Excel and Basic Navigation. Double-click the file to open it. Now that Excel is open, we will need to navigate it. To get better acquainted to Excel interface, we can divide it into four sections. The first section would be the ribbon at the top, which contains tabs like Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, and View, each with various tools. For example, the Home tab has formatting options like font style, size, and color. As we progress through our lessons, we will go through all of them. The second section would be the formula bar. Formula bar, as its name implies, helps with building various formulas as well as shows exact text that goes into cells. The third section is the grid where most of the work is done. As you can see, grid covers most of the screen and is the place where you will be working the most, inputting text, formatting, inserting charts, and other various actions. The fourth section would be sheets navigation section. Here you are able to create new sheets or delete existing ones, as well as switch between the sheets. Excel workbooks can have multiple worksheets. You can switch between worksheets by clicking their tabs at the bottom. You can also rename worksheets by double-clicking its tabs. Let's rename our first worksheet products by double-clicking its tab. Within each worksheet, Data or the grid is organized into cells which are arranged in rows and columns. Rows are represented by numbers, whereas columns are represented by letters. Cells are where you enter and manipulate your data. Now let's start entering data into cells. Click on cell A1 in the product worksheet. Let's enter product name as the first column header. Then in cell B1, type price to enter second column header. In cell A2, we can enter our first product's name, which can be item A. In cell B2, we can enter item A's price. Let's make it to be 200. Occasionally, Excel adjusts the cell size automatically. If cell size is not adjusted, you can manually adjust it by double-clicking the right edge of the column header or just dragging the edge to the desired size. Now, let's format the cells. We will select cells A1 through B1 and we'll change the headers to become bold. You can select multiple cells by clicking and holding on one of the cells with the left button of your mouse and dragging it across other cells that you want to also select. This way, you will be able to select cells that are adjacent to each other. If you need to select multiple cells that are dispersed throughout the sheet, you can push and hold control key on your keyboard. And as you hold control key, click on all the cells with your mouse one by one. Now that we have selected cells A1 through B2, let's change the text in them to bold. For this, go to home tab in the ribbon and under font, click on bold icon. Now let's increase the font size. To do so in the same home tab, we click on font and choose the one that we need. You can also click on these two icons in order to increase or decrease the font size by one per click. To change the font color, we go to the same tab and use the color icon. This makes the header stand out. For numeric data like prices, you can apply currency formatting. To do so, select the cell, go to the Home tab, click the drop-down in the number group, and choose Currency. With this, in this video, we covered opening Excel, navigating its interface, entering data, for example, product names, and basic formatting, for example, bold headers and currency formatting. These skills are foundational for effective Excel use. It is noteworthy that Excel is a very powerful spreadsheet software used for organizing and analyzing data. Actually, there is no company or organization which at some point has not used Excel. This shows how widely it is used throughout the organizations and businesses. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Excel tutorials.